Good morning everyone. It's Saturday, 28th July and I'm here to read you the top stories of the day. DMK president and former Tamil Nadu chief minister M Karunanidhi suffered a major setback in the early hours of this morning. He was rushed to Kaveri Hospital in Alwarpet from his Gopalpuram residence and was admitted to the hospital after a drop in blood pressure. The hospital added that he was stabilized as soon as treatment began. However, he remains in ICU and continues to be monitored and treated by a panel of expert doctors according to a bulletin from Kaveri Hospital. A blood red moon dazzled stargazers across much of the world on Friday when it moved into the earth's shadow for the longest lunar eclipse of the 21st century. The total eclipse lasted 1 hour 42 minutes and 57 seconds although a partial eclipse preceded and followed this window. According to some Hindu beliefs, celestial bodies such as the sun and moon emit negative energy during an eclipse and so some temples in India were closed ahead of the event. In an unusual coincidence, Mars appeared large and bright on the same night a mere 57.7 million kilometers from Earth on its elliptical orbit around the sun. The next lunar eclipse of similar duration is expected in the year 2123. The Tamil Nadu government has informed the Madras High Court that a 24-hour helpline has been set up to investigate issues faced by inter-caste couples and to offer them necessary assistance and protection. A special cell has been formed in all districts and cities in the state comprising district level officers to receive complaints of harassment and threat to inter-caste couples the counter affidavit said There is also an online complaint registration facility in both the crime and criminal tracking network and systems and mobile app for citizens in which complaints can be filed online by aggrieved persons according to the affidavit This is being done in strict compliance with the directions of the court and to ensure the complete eradication of honor killing in the state and to create awareness about the steps taken by the government on this matter. Mehul Choksi, who owns Gitanjali Gems, was granted Antigua citizenship in November 2017 under the country's controversial citizenship investment program. This program was launched a few years ago to tap into the global citizenship market estimated to be worth 2 billion dollars. Holders of the Antigua and Barbuda passport enjoy visa-free travel to approximately 132 countries including the UK, Singapore and countries in the Schengen area. Mehul Choksi's statement earlier this week said that he had taken up citizenship of the twin island nation to expand his business interest in the Caribbean and obtain visa-free travel access to 132 countries. Foreign Minister E.P. Chet Green told reporters on Thursday that his government had not received any request from the Indian government for access to the fugitive billionaire. However, if a request is received, we will honor any legitimate request made of us, notwithstanding that we do not have any extradition agreements with India. the foreign minister said according to newspaper reports truckers on friday called off the nationwide agitation after the government assured them that it would consider some of their key demands such as third party insurance premium removal of toll barriers and ease in acquiring national permits Sources said that the breakthrough was achieved after discussions over 2 days held by Union Finance Minister Piyush Goyal and Road Transport and Highways Minister Mr Gadkari. A joint statement issued by the government and the truckers said that the Insurance Regulatory and Development Authority of India had agreed to discuss third party insurance for heavy vehicles and would meet transporters on Saturday to discuss the issue. We round up this morning with fuel prices for the day. In Mumbai, petrol is sold for 83.71 rupees per liter and diesel for 72.01 rupees per liter. 
in Chennai, petrol is sold for 79.22 rupees per liter and diesel for 71.63 rupees per liter. In Delhi, petrol is sold for 76.27 rupees per liter and diesel for 67.83 rupees per liter. And in Kolkata, petrol is sold for 79.14 rupees per liter and diesel for 70.52 rupees per liter.